today we're talking about this new update for the Fitbit app. I've had it for a while, but I'm going to be showing you all how to use it today. And I've had a lot of questions on how you use their mobile app, so I'm just going to do an overview of their mobile app. So to start off, we're just going to do, so as you can see, this is just your stuff. Now, a lot of the questions come on how do you install apps and stuff, so I'm going to show you one of two ways to get to your uh, where you can install apps and stuff. So you pull down and you click Ionic or Versa or any other watch that does it. And um, actually click the edge of my screen. Um, but if you pull down and see so now it went to that, or what you can do is what you can actually do is just click account you can click account and then click on ionic and that'll take you to the same place so media unless you're up uploading from Deezer or Pandora it won't work but if you're uploading from per I mean it will work if you're uploading it from Pandora or Deezer but it won't work if you're uploading it from personal music you have to do that on a computer um accessories can be uh, that's just where you go buy accessories for the watch you have how to use step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use your watch wad apps where you can set up your credit cards on your watch um apps so i'm going to show you how to install an app so and uninstall an app so these are all the apps you have installed on your watch right now and if you click all apps then you can go to all applications you can search up here at the search bar but I'm just gonna install a recent app a new app that's just been uploaded if I can find a free one on the recents so I'm just gonna pick daily verse and I'm gonna see if it's paid and it is paid and so I'm gonna switch back and see if one of these is free. I'll just go to free apps and download one of them. Went too far back. Um, so how you do this is you go, you click all apps and the tabs that you can search here like I said and then you can scroll down to free apps and it shows all the free apps in the store so we're just going to select an app um, we're going to select let's just select four words I'm just going to be showing you how to install it so you hit install now we just wait till it um, processes And guys, if it doesn't start installing, if it's taking as long as it's taking right now, you can. what you need to do is you just need to go hit sync, and I'll teach you how to do that. So, and it should install pretty much instantly after you sync it. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to do that. So you're gonna push back, back again, and once you're back to that main page I showed y'all how to get to, not this one, but this one, you're gonna hit sync, sync. Now you're gonna hit apps again, and then you're gonna hit continue when it pops up. Continue, and now it should start installing. For some reason, it's not wanting to install. Um, oh, that's the reason it hasn't synced. So you gotta let it sync before it'll do anything. It has to be connected to the watch. Make sure your Bluetooth and location and uh, mobile data is on to sync it, which it is. So we're just gonna hit sync. Mm. 
And for some reason that's not working, so I'm gonna dive out of there and then come back in and hit sink. Um Alright guys, I don't know. So we're gonna come over here and we're gonna install a watch face. So I have my own watch faces in here so you can search. So I'm just gonna search my watch faces. So we're gonna select this fancy one. We're gonna hit select, install. Go back. Continue. Guys, remember to subscribe and like this video for more, for more fitness information like this. Thank you. 